Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamara and I thought I would make a video on things that you would need while breastfeeding. Um, I've been breastfeeding for a year now and it's been good and bad but we're making it through. I'm trying to get him used to um, drinking whole milk now but he mainly still nurses and he eats a lot of regular food. Okay so the first thing that has been very helpful with breastfeeding is a boppy pillow. I went with one that um, is an off brand of a boppy pillow so it was cheaper and I love that thing. We used it up until he was about eight months then he started getting kind of big but in a good way like big enough where I didn't have to pop him up higher to breastfeed but it was nice to have the pillow under him because it seemed like he was more comfortable that way and he'd fall right asleep while nursing on there and I didn't and he didn't feel uncomfortable on me um, him like being on me and it seemed like easier to pick him up from the pillow and put him down after he falls asleep the next thing that is very helpful is a nipple cream I went with Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula brand Nursing Butter, that's what it's called. And I liked it because it protected and, and soothed my nipples and I didn't have to wipe it off before I nursed because I know Lancelin, I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but um, they gave it to me when I, we were, when I was in the hospital and they told me to put it on but I had to wipe it off before I nursed the baby in. Who has time to do that? So I used it like one time and then I was like, no, I'll just use my own. So I made sure to bring this to the hospital with me because it's a lifesaver because it hurt really bad when I first started nursing him because I, you know, your nipples have to get used to it and he has to get used to um, the sucking, you know. Because it takes work. It doesn't just automatically happen very fast for everyone, you know. Like, some people, it takes weeks and stuff. But it did hurt, like, the first couple weeks breastfeeding. And this really helped. And the next thing is a nursing cover. I never really had to use a nursing cover because I was at home as I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I didn't really have to go out. And then when we did go out, I would just... Um, like nurse in the car before we went into like a store to somebody's house and then if I really had to nurse like when we were at someone's house I would just use a receiving blanket to put over him and I did buy a nursing cover but it was one of the ones that you can use to put over your car seat so I only used it for that and then later I bought another one, one of those stretchy ones tube ones um, that can go over your car seat or be a nursing cover or a high chair cover or a cart cover and I only use it for the shopping cart and a high chair and but yeah they'd be so helpful for um, if you're nursing out in public too and you don't want everybody to see the goods you know <laughs> So that's a good one that you should have just in case you decide to breastfeed outside of the home and you don't want to be, you know, exposed because, you know, people stare. But, I mean, it's up to you, your comfort level, if you want to do that or not. I always had um, a snack or water or something to drink nearby when I was nursing because for some reason I was always get hungry. And it's like the baby's sucking like all the calories out of you. So, it, so it's very important that you remember to eat your food. Because, you know, like with a newborn, you might lose track of what you need to do. And so it's always good to have like a snack nearby when you're nursing or after you're done. Just to make you feel better. So I always had like a granola bar or something, you know, something small nearby. I was always hungry, I guess because I wasn't used to like, you know, feeding another bait or like another person. <laughs> and I, yeah, so I didn't really eat much. 
The next thing I really needed um, when I first started breastfeeding are breast pads. I prefer the disposable ones because I who has time to um, sit up there and wash them and you don't and you probably have to get several sets of them to be able not have to wash them like every day. So I went with the reusable ones. I didn't really care what brand, like this is Target brand. And they come in individual packaging like this and you just rip it open and it has adhesive on both sides to stick to whatever you're wearing. And I bought this kind because I wanted something thinner because I wasn't leaking as much. But if you go with a thinner one like this or any of them, make sure they have that adhesive on the back because otherwise they'll be moving all over the place. Like this one doesn't have adhesive. So it it drove me crazy because I'd be like, where'd it go? And it'd be like way up here or something. So yeah, make sure they have adhesive on them. And uh, yeah, because I leaked and leaked and leaked. I don't think I stopped leaking until about nine months in because every time I'd have a letdown, I'd leak. Or whenever, whenever I was breastfeeding, I would leak on the other breast that he wasn't nursing off of. But some people, I guess, they don't leak as long as I did. Or they don't leak as much in, at all the whole time. But yeah, yes, I'm a leaker. <laughs> and you, you know, you don't want to be out in public and accidentally, you're like, your whole shirt's wet from leaking. And then the next thing was nursing bras. I went with a three pack of nursing bras off of Amazon and they had the removable um, pads in the inside but I still wore like disposable pads inside also so I wouldn't have to worry about the, the pads that come in and them like having to make sure they were clean all the time and I got those I got a three pack of those for under $20. And then these are my favorite ones for like when you're sleeping at night. It doesn't have the clasp in the back and stuff. It's, it's just like a, a thin nursing bra and it crisscrosses in the front. So when you, when you breastfeed at night, you just pull it to the side because it's stretchy enough. And it's, yeah, it's so comfortable and soft. But yeah, I only wore them in the side, the house, or like when I was, um, going to sleep at night and I got this in a two pack on Amazon I think it was like $12 for two of them and then the next great item are nursing tanks I wore these around the house too a lot um, and I got lucky I went to Target one day while I was still pregnant and they had them on clearance so I snagged two one in gray and one in black so here's the gray one and these are awesome because they unhook up here so it's, your boobs exposed and then you snap it back up so then you like your stomach's not all hanging out because it's covered and these are so comfortable too to sleep at night so especially like in the summertime these would be great and uh, yeah I still wear them I'll probably still wear them even after I'm done nursing because I mean they're just tank tops so mm, they're very comfortable and I don't remember how much I got these for <laughs> so he decided to join me he was napping and now he's up so to continue on with what I was saying um, the next thing that really is helpful when you're breastfeeding are breast milk bags this is Target brand one because they work great I know some people prefer the name brand ones because they say like off brand ones like our store brand ones like leak a lot but um, I we went through like a couple packages of these and I only had like one that leaked out of all of them but they're great and then you're going to need this if you decide to pump which is the next thing on the list is a breast pump um, you know some people don't need them especially if you're a stay at home mom you won't need one or you prefer to obviously not breastfeed but <laughs> you hear my dog but um yeah they're great for especially 
Um, like they say, like you're not supposed to um, use your breast pump in the first few weeks just because you might end up with an oversupply of breast milk. So I waited the two or three weeks before I started using my breast pump. And even then, like I, I would always get a good amount of milk when I did breast when I did pump because I usually pumped while I was feeding him because when he was really little he'd only um, eat off of one side and then the other side would still be full so I would um, pump that side and I'd get a ton of milk and so I got a good stash of milk but I mean I only have like two left now but it was great for when I didn't feel like breastfeeding or it was like inconvenient for me to breastfeed at that time I just had a bottle ready for him and he he was fine with the bottle at first. I had to get like the right bottle because he didn't like the first one we got. So I tried a second one and they worked perfectly. So we stuck with those. Mm -hmm. And so um, I went with a cheap pump because I wasn't really sure, you know, obviously I didn't know if I was really going to be successful at breastfeeding. And I wasn't sure if I was even going to use the pump since I knew I wasn't going to work after having him so I was like well I don't really need one but if somebody so I put it on my registry and I went with the cheap one um I forgot what brand it is the Nook brand breast press pump and so I think it was, it was under a hundred dollars and someone bought it for me so I was like yay I don't have to use it but yes I used it a lot and then of course it started tapering off about when he hit about six months, I didn't really use it that much because he wasn't um, needing to breastfeed as much because he started solids. I waited till he was six months old to start solids. So then he really wasn't asking to be um, nursed a whole lot, which, you know, he still he doesn't really ask now. But I think that is it for my list of must-haves. And if there's anything I forgot that um, you found helpful that should be added, um, please share in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be great. Um, have a good day. Bye.